Hi everyone, good evening. So um, it's me again. My name is Giselle and I will be discussing the memory processes, which I think um, chapter six of in the module. So the scope of uh, the presentation would be we have encoding and transfer of information. We have retrieval processes and of forgetting and memory distortion and then the constructive nature of memory. So before the information can be stored in our memory, it first needs to be encoded for storage. Even if the information is held in our short term, it is not always transferred to our long-term memory. So in order para, uh, to remember events and facts over a long period of time, we need to transfer, we need to encode uh, from time to time, subsequently or from time to time, to transfer them from short to long-term storage. And these are the processes that we will explore and enjoy in the forthcoming section. So we have forms of encoding. Um, we encode our memories to store them. However, there is a question. Do short-term and long-term storage use the same kind of code to store information or do their codes differ? So we have short-term memory. The Conrad experiment shows the importance in short-term memory of an acoustic code rather than visual code. So the Conrad experiment, they um, basically flash a letters on the screen for the participants to see. And then that was very immediate long, and then they um, took it off, and then they asked the participants, what did you remember? What letters did you see on the screen um, that we flashed a moment ago? The participant did not remember, or they remembered, but dili kayo nila marikol ang ilahang ma-remember. Then a trisila line experiment, which is to... Uh, have the participant listen to um, a letter, example, just one letter, but there was a background noise. And surprisingly, must not remember to the participant um, longer than katong sa iyang ipakita lang. So therefore, the cornered experiment said that acoustic code is must not retain rather than the visual code. Kanina naman si Badley, 1966, argued that short-term memory is uh, realized primarily on an acoustic rather than semantic. So, same sila ni Conrad, however, lahi yang di, uh, differentiate, which is the semantic code. To give you a brief uh, idea or um, idea of what semantic code is, it's basically a general knowledge that you know. For example, you know that the grass is green. So that's just one of example of semantic code. But of course, we will explore and um, the, the, discuss more of it uh, in the forthcoming slides. Um, but to go back, you don't see badly na mas naga, um, mas ma remember daw ang acoustic rather than semantic code. Kanina man si Posner, og si Kiel, they said that visual encoding appears to be even more fleeting, like about 1.5 seconds long. Siya magstay sa imuha, then malimta na ni mo siya, unsa to siya. So basically, same lang sila ang kanang conclusion ng mga acoustic ang mas mag-retain kaysa visual at semantic code. So we are more prone to forgetting visual information. This is the, the conclusion kanila nga specific na part than acoustic information. Thus, initial encoding is primarily acoustic in nature, but other forms of encoding may be used under some circumstances. So, long-term storage is information stored in a long-term memory and a primarily semantically encoded. And like I said, we will discuss more of what is a semantic code uh, in the forthcoming slides. In other words, um, it in it encodes by the meanings of the word. Like for example, it's another example. Um, you know how to use scissors. Um, not just in long term memory, so you don't need to relearn how to use scissors because it's already in your 
I mean, general knowledge so that everyone knows how to use it. So semantic code is a category of long-term memory that involves the recollection of ideas, concepts, and factors commonly regarded as general knowledge. Those were the examples that I gave, Motoy semantic code. Um, um, what is the semantic code? Got to mga examples. So, general knowledge, siya. like you don't need to relearn how it is done or how it is used. Kay kabalo, like I mean, everyone knows. Everyone knows how to use the scissor. Or everyone knows how. Um, what the uh that the dogs or the cats have four legs, the ba? Kabalo man ang all nga pupap gid inang tiil or kamot. So, example, participants list a list, a list of 60 words that included 15 animals, 15 professions, and 15 vegetables, and 15 names of people. The result, the participants were remembering words by clustering them into categories. Um, is more to example sa semantic code. Diba, kabalang kita nga, if, like, ginalist na to ang things by cat category, legally, kay mas ma-remember na to siya kaysa, like, merg, um, nagkakatag-katag ang mga words. So, in ano siya, recollection of ideas. We have transfer of information from short-term and long-term memory. We have two keys there, two keys, pro two Two key problems when we transfer information from short-term to long-term memory, we have interference and decay. Interference basically is when you, um, example lang sa interference is you watch, um, you watch, you have, you, ha you know, Tom Cruise and then the, you watch his movies. So, for example, you have watched two movies already of Tom Cruise and then um, ganahan ka sa mga linyahan at nga mga movies niya. However, na-mix ni mo itong movie ni Tom Cruise sa Picas o katong sa Picas pod ng movie, na-mix ni mo siya in one line. So, that is an example of interference. Decay naman is when you forget facts just because uh, dugay na nga panahon. For example, um, sa kadugay nga panahon, nakalimot kang... Uh, um, nga ang colors sa dagat kay blue. Ang ginanagod. Di ba tinuod man siya, pero nakalimot ka sa dugay panahon, pero unrealistic man siya. For example, nakalimot ka nga birthday si imong mama kay dugay. Karo sa birthday si imong mama kay dugay na mo nakita. So, in ana, or decay. And then, um, given the problems of decay and interference, how do we move information from short-term and long-term memory? So we have the means of moving information depends on whether the information involves declarative or non-declarative. So what is non-declarative? Non-declarative is it operate automatically. Um, not just in conscious recollection, like for example, if you know how to drive a car today, you don't need to relearn how to drive a car tomorrow because it is impossible that you forget to drive the, your car um the next day, kay ning labay ang kagabihon, iba it's impossible man siya. So, that is an example of non-declarative memory. Ang declarative memory naman is, we go back to, um, refers to the ability to store and retrieve. For example, yes, um, we have to remember that your mom's birthday, birthday is on the 5th of August. So, in anasha declarative memory and non-declarative Short-term memory to long-term memory. So we have these um, steps or ways how to transfer them from short-term to long-term. So we have rehearsal. Of course, we are we are all familiar with rehearsals. The bad if we were given um, a topic or um, any lesson that needs to be familiarized with, we rehearse until we familiar familiarize the content of. Um, the the topic we also have elaborate rehearsal rehearsal um example like the artista naga balik balik sila og um balik balik sila basa silang script para memorize nila 
We also have maintenance rehearsal. The individual simply repetitiously rehearses items to be repeated, such as rehearsal temporarily maintains information in short-term memory without transferring the information to long-term memory. For example, typing a phone number to call, and, but you rehearse it. Like you say the number like 0998584. And then, but it says though that um, such rehearsal temporarily maintains information in short-term memory without transferring the information to long-term memory. We also have uh, the spacing effect. So, uh, of course, um, the most effective man nga nag study ta, mas dugay, dugay, pag dugay pa mo abot ang exams or quizzes. Diba? Like, ito ang hiyatagan o space ang ato ang memory para mag-store ato mga information nga din na to remember during the day sa exam na to. So, effective daw na siya para ma-store dito sa imong long term. We also have sleep and memory consultation consolidation um so it is um proven talaga no like if they practice sleep you cannot really focus and you cannot really understand um the topic siguro na ginadiscuss sa imong teachers or anything that really nga imong you listen to or you you are doing because they practice sleep so isa sa para mag transfer ang imong short-term memory to long-term memory, so you have to have enough sleep because research suggests that sleep helps learning and memory in two distinct ways. First, a sleep-deprived person cannot focus attention optimally and therefore cannot learn efficiently. So we have to have enough sleep. We also have neuroscience and memory consolidation. It is a time-dependent process by which recent learned experiences are transformed into long-term memory. So, doing so allows you to exercise your brain a great deal and store the formula in your long-term memory. Um, a time-dependent meaning, kanabitang, like you put a limit in your, for example, kaninga specific chapter one, kailangan kani for the one week, kailangan ako di siya ma-familiarize, tanan, kailangan ako di siya ma-remember, tanan-tanan kay ma-appeal niya sa exam. So, time-dependent siya, nag-set ka o um, time. Um, we also have stored memories or uh, organization of memories. Here is the example. If random lang, magisod siya paminaw, magisod ni mo siya ma-remember. But if organized siya, like for example, category, category, categ- by category ni mo siya, so mas mabutang ni mo siya o taro, ma-remember ni mo siya o taro. Um, we also have vocabulary, we have mnemonic devices. So these are also the, the ways to transfer your the information from short to long term memory. Um, these are a specific techniques to help you memorize list of words. Um, essentially, such devices and meaning to otherwise meaningless or arbitrary list of items. We have um, categorically cluster. Clustering, atong example kaganina, kani, category. We have interactive images. We also have backward system, method of locations, acronym accuracy, keyword system. So these would help you um, transfer your long-term memory uh, from short to long-term memory using these devices. Um, retrieval. Once we have encoded and restored information in short-term memory, how do we retrieve it? If we have problems retrieving information, was the information even stored in the first place? That was the question. So, example, um, retrieval from short-term memory. We are able to retrieve information from short-term memory quickly. You see Saul Sternberg conducted a series of experiments to determine whether people scan items in short-term memory one at a time or all at once. So that is called serial processing or parallel processing. Also, example, um, there were digits flashed in the, um, in, the sc- in the screen and then very short long and then for example that number contains 4193 and then the digit 9 flash on the screen the correct it then mo tanaka nabay 9 dito amoy ngon ka og wala so mali ka kay ang 
tubag ato na man dre na ni to ah. So may explain ta ha. Parallel processing is the item stored in short-term memory and would be retrieved at once, not one at a time. For example, when you see a bus, of course, you remember everything. You remember that it is squared. You remember that it has six wheels. Six wheels, long bus. You remember that it has doors. And you remember that it, it is a yellow bus because I think generally the color of the bus here in the Philippines is yellow, the right? So this is just one of the example of parallel processing. Like, you remember everything in just one glance. Like, when you see a bus, you, you know it all. Like, you know already, like, the bus is yellow, the bus is square, the bus is has doors and has six wheels. So serial processing naman, one of the example is when reading sentence, you cannot process all the words in one glance. Instead, you read them in sequence from left to right. Just like what we're doing now. I'm reading for example, when reading the sentence, you cannot process all the words in one glance. So I cannot process all the words in one glance. I have to read from here, for example, to the last word right. So that's uh, the example of serial processing. We also have exhaustive, exhaustive processing. Exhaustive serial processing implies that the participant always checks the test digits against all digits in the positive set, even if a match were found halfway through the list. Exhaustive, like the word itself, exhaustive, like bisag nakita na kay binigaw mo nda upang ita, rag di siya mahimutang, mangita gihapon siya. Kanina mang self terminating processes is exactly the opposite of this one because if she already or the participant found already what's needed. So, they immediately stop there. Dili na nila nga na-exhaust ilang sarili. Kato lang yung bisugo sa ilahang kapag ito nakita nila mo at mo na self-terminating processes. So, we also have retriever from long-term memory. So, we have free recall. Free recall is basically recalls a list of items in any order. Like, wala siya category. Like, free, free, free lang siya. Like, pwede ni mo i-recall, gikan, dili kailangan nga, oh, uh, bread. So, na ito yung, ano sabi ba, kasi sa bread, hindi ko kabalo, ah, uh, mga brands of bread. Pandipani bake shop. So, hindi ko kabalo, ano sa mga kasi sa bread. Pero basta, um, to see, say it simply, free recall is, to recall list of items na in any order siya. Ang cute recall naman is exactly the opposite. Like, kailangan ni mo siya, na, like, for example, um, Kung makainumdum kag feather, kay associate mo siya nga feather, um, so, bird, ano na. Um, kid recall mo ang feather para manamember ang bird. We also have process of forgetting memory and distortion. Why do we so easily and so quickly forget phone numbers? We have just looked up other, up, or, or their names of people whom we just have met. Several theories have been proposed as to why we forget information stored in working memory. The two most well-known theories are the interference and decay theory. I'm sure that you did not forget what interference and decay memory um, theory is because I just discussed it a moment ago. Um, interference is when it refers to the view of forgetting occurs because recall of a certain words interferes with um, other words. The decay naman, it is you forget the facts because time passes. So we have two kinds of interference. We have retroactive and we have proactive. Retroactive occurs when a new person replaces their phone number. The new number becomes making it difficult to recall the old phone number. Kani namang proactive is, for example, you might struggle to remember your new phone number because your mind automatically goes back to your old phone number. So, kabalik taran siya. We also have, um, so, balik siya. Decay theory um, views the original piece of information as gradually disappearing unless something is done to keep it intact. For example, Decay theory para dili uh, para dili madikay ang imong memory or information sa imong memory. You have to continually do um do things. For example, um regular use of computer, password computers, di ba? Di man ni mo maningtan if permanent ni mo siya ginabuhat. 
And then we have the constructive nature of memory. The constructive nature of memory concept holds that memories may not be accurate reproductions of events, but can be altered by new information related to beliefs, attitudes, and perceptions to fill in the gaps in the memory. An example of construction, constructive memory is how a lawyer can recall various witnesses to recall the happenings of a crime. The witnesses cannot tell all the same story. There will be differences, certain issues, despite all being at the same uh, crime scene. Um, the constructive nature of memory, though, is... Pwede gihapon siya... Um, Kana bang pwede siya ma... Dili siya stable. Pwede gihapon siya ma... Kanang... Dili siya um, accurate o accurate always. Um, example, di ba if the naagi pa kayo tao, tapos or na yun na-discrush siya, tapos nagag naka-witness, tapos gamitin itong mga tao pang tanong sa isa sa witness o sa hitabo at itong nga aksidente. Though same sila o ginaingon, same sila nga na-added to. Uh, pero lahi-lahi lang ilang ma-recall. Lahi-lahi lang ma-storya. Lahi-lahi lang testimony. So yung nga na ang example sa uh, constructive nature of memory. Dili siya accurate. Um, Dili siya accurate always. If if like na ay remember say mahanga what happened to that specific day or event or scene. Um, we also have autobiographical memory refers to the memory of one's personal history. Example, um, memory for experiences that occurred in childhood, the first time learning to drive a car, and even such memories as we were born. Autobiographical memory. Your personal history that you cannot forget. We also have memory distortions. For example, just saying something has happened, you makes you more likely to think it really happened. This is true whether the the event happened or not. Example, kanang um, say example. Wait lang, I'm gonna So for example, ka witness ka o car accident. Tapos tili good pas pas ang dagan accident lang yun siya. Pero nakadungog ka nga, naiingon nga, pas-pas mong kisag padagan god. Kaya mga marites. Pas-pas mong kisag padagan god. So, bisag, ikaw nakakita mismo nga, dito siya pas-pas o padagan, pero na-accidente lang gid siya. Madistort yung mga memory hato nga. Bitaw no, murag pas-pas, bitaw gito siya padagan. So, murag, um, ma, mo to, madistort ang yung mga memory. Bisag, dili to mao. Like, ang, Ang sabi, bisaya sa distort ka ng bago ba? Maana na. Murag, mas-shake noon to yung memory nga. Imbis, dili dito siya kusog upadagan, na discrash lang. Pero kahit tungot kayo, nakadungog ka nga ninyo. Kusog pa kusog upadagan. Murag, madamay ka. Murag, mutuo ka nga. Kusog bisag dili. So, yun na to siya. These distortions tend to occur in seven specific ways, which scatter refers to us the seven sins of memory we have trend science the memory fades quickly um beautiful days a nice life or fun vacation that seem to be over in an instant example like dali lang mawala siya kaning absent-minded is pe- people sometimes brush their teeth and then taot-taot kayo magbrush na po sila nakalimot sila nga nagbrush na day sila um blocking naman people sometimes have something that they know they should remember but they can't. Kaya nga usahay ka ng ngayon tango, dili na akong maingon pero nagin siya sa tumoy siya akong dila. So, ina, wala ba siya good sa tumoy siya akong dila? Blocking to siya. Kaning mis- misattribution, for instance, you remember that someone, for example, gibuhatan ka ni Joey o Coffee, tapos pagka uma, um, ingon ka kang Kim, Kim, lami lagi to yung gibuhat ng kapigahapon, pero may mas kini, ba't ako si Joey man to? So, is example siya sa misdistribution. Kanitong sa suggestibility, people are susceptible to suggestion. So, if it is suggested to them that they, they saw something, saw something, they may think that they remember seeing it. Bisag wala, good. Diba kita makagagani na ugkuan, kwaknit, ganing sunod sa office, bisag wala, good. May yun silang, abitaw no, abitaw. Um, 
Tapos bias, uh, people often are biased in their recall. For example, people who currently are experiencing chronic pain in their lives are more likely to remember pain in the past, whether or not they actually experience it. People who are experiencing such pain are less likely to, to recall pain in the past. Again, with little regard, they actually they, they to their actual actual past experience. Bias, for example, um, na kay friend nga uh, friend ni mo gitra, tapos bisag kabaluka nga na ibatasan imo friend, pangit ka ayo, daupan ka ayo. Pero ang imo ang remember dito akay katong kindness sa imo friend, katong um, remember ni mga goodness nga nabuhat sa imo friend. Ma-overlook ni mo tong bad nga yang nabuhat or bad nga uh, attributes nga na siya kay bias ka. We also have persistence. People sometimes remember things as consequential that in a broad context are inconsequential. For example, someone someone with many successes but one notable fail, failure may remember the single failure better than the many successes. Diba? Naman ta. Ganagong makainan ta nga. Ano yung ginang tao? Um, like, sa kalagat, sa kong ibuat ka kamaayo, isa lang kamali, kay malimtan na nimo tong tanan. Char, yan ato. Yan ato daw ang example. So, mo lang dahil ito akong report kay Salamat sa pagtanaw.